Alright, so I'm back with another video and this is a tagged video and I was tagged by Sunny Shiny and I'll put her link below. She does amazing tutorials and she's super sweet so you guys should check her out if you haven't already. And this tag is the 11 most reach for products. Oh, it's really just hard to pick 11 products in, for me because I have so much makeup that I try to reach for something different every day and um, I had initially just done makeup items but you know what I was like no I'm gonna do hair products and nail products uh, yeah 11 most reach for products and I think I might have 12 or 13 I don't know I might have gone over we'll see so I'm just gonna start with randomly like no in these are not in any particular order I'm just gonna reach out for something that I use very frequently and that's that okay so the first thing that I'm gonna show you is my Onyx Professional 100% Pure Acetone and this is a nail polish remover and it's maximum strength. It's a very large bottle. Um, I used to use just regular, the handy dandy old nail polish remover and then one day I purchased this, I think it was at Kmart and I know they sell it at other places and I need, I'm due for a new one because there's like only this much left but anyways. I started using this to remove my nail polish and this stuff just takes it off so much easier and faster than regular nail polish remover. So I love this stuff, absolutely a must have for me. Um, I like to paint my nails different all the time so I go through it uh, pretty fast. And see, the reason I had got it because is because glitter polishes are really hard to remove with just regular nail polish remover. So um, this one I heard removes glitter polish um, better than the other one does. And it does. It really, really, really does. And it also can remove artificial nails, which I don't have. I have real nails, but... So, yeah, it's just... And I don't know how much this is. Maybe, like, six bucks or something. I don't even know. And then another product that I use all the time is my Proclaim Professional Care Glossing Polish and this one's with olive oil. I actually have three different ones. Um, one I've already finished but I have um, this one and another one that I use. So I just alternate between them. This one has olive oil. Another one that I had had stra like a strawberry scent and then the other one doesn't really have any particular scent to it. So it just... Let me show you first. doesn't want to focus very well sorry guys so see as you can see I this is how much I have left and this is a pretty big bottle see this is my hand so it's a good size bottle it'll last you for a really really long time I've had this for a long time um, it seriously a little goes a long way so this is enriched with olive oil and it's like a hair serum and it helps protect dry damaged hair restores, 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 restores moisture I can't even talk right now it restores moisture balance and adds lustrous shine. So, uh, for instance, I have that on today. I just I didn't want to do anything with my hair. A typical hair day for me is just putting mousse in my hair. I have wavy to curly hair, and so I don't like to use a lot of heat products to my hair, and I don't like to blow dry it that often straight because it just really dries out my hair. So I usually just do the mousse for the day, and that's it. But on other days, like when I straighten my hair, or like today, I didn't want to do anything with my hair. I didn't want to put mousse in it because it's been kind of feeling dry at the ends. Um, I just put this hair serum in and it makes my hair feel nice and it looks shiny and it feels really, really soft. So I use that for straightening and um, to get my hair shine and that moisture and make the dry ends feel better. So that's mainly what I use it for. And I love it. And I got this at Sally's. It might have been like $7.99 or something like that. Um, another hair product that I use uh, religiously is my Tresemme uh, Flawless Curls Extra Hold Mousse. And this is Curl Care line. They have different ones, but this one's for curly hair. And so this is just what it looks like. So I don't know. This is like a brand new bottle that I just bought. But I go through this stuff really fast because I use mousse pretty much daily for my curly hair. Uh, like I said, I don't like to use a lot of heat products, so I just throw in some mousse for the day and scrunch it until it dries, and then bam, that's it. Um, 
So my go-to brush for my Fret Liquid Foundation is my Sigma Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki Brush, and it's F80. And I need to clean it, it's dirty, but this brush, this brush is awesome for buffing in your foundation. It just, I love it. I stipple it on and then I buff it in and it's just, it works amazingly. I love that brush. Okay, and then for lip products, um, this is my EOS lip balm. This one's in Passion Fruit. And I throw this one in my purse. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it if you're familiar with these. They're usually very rounded, but anyways, I use this quite a bit. So yeah, this is in my purse, and originally when I bought this, I thought, God, these would it's probably going to be really annoying um, because it's so big and round. But honestly, it's kind of the opposite for me because I threw it in my purse, and it's just much easier to find because it's round and big. I don't know. I love that stuff. It just moisturizes my lips really well and it's easy to find in my purse because it's so big and round. I love that stuff. And then another lip product that I go to all the time um, other than that one is the Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush Lip Glosses. I have like a gazillion of these and this one as you can see is like about running low, a little bit low. So, so yeah, I love these things, um, especially like when I was doing clinicals for school and I was wearing scrubs, I just threw these in my pocket and I would just use them like all day. This is what I like to go to. I love lip gloss more than I love um, like lipsticks and stuff, so I just go to lip glosses a lot. And um, I don't have any particular flavors that I like. I have a lot of different ones, but one that I really, really like is the Cupquake one. It's like... Um, like frosting. Mm, it's, it smells so yummy. So I'm gonna just throw these um, blushes into the same category because I'm gonna have like 12 or 13 items so we'll just say I have 11 but these two are kind of equally used. So um, for blushes I love my NYX blush in Angel. This is the blush. As you can see I have hit pan and I'm sad because I need a backup and I don't want to order online and they don't have it at Ulta. So it's just a very natural looking blush and it's a matte finish and I just absolutely love this color. It just complements me really well so I love that blush. And then another blush that I've used a lot is, um, let's see, this one is the Milani Minerals blush and as you can see I've hit pan on that one as well. This one's a luminous. and uh, it has a mirror underneath and I had a little brush but I threw it away because I don't use it but anyways this is the color it has like a gold undertone to it it's just really 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 pretty so this I actually bought a backup of because I love this blush so much and it's that one it's almost gone and another product that I use like religiously is my mineral wear talc free mineral face powder and this is by physicians formula and it's part of their mineral, mineral wear line. And this one's tr in translucent. They have one in translucent and then they have another one in translucent, translucent light. So this is what it looks like. This one, um, I just ran out of one like maybe a month ago. So this is a newer one. Um, I've used it quite a bit because I use it every day. So I use this to go over to set my found liquid foundation and then I just use it for touch-ups throughout the day so I keep this in my purse. And um, I like it because it's not the typical translucent powder where it's just like a white powder and it makes you look a little ghostly. This one actually has a little bit of color to it so you don't look like really white. And um, so the translucent light, this one's translucent, but the translucent light is a little bit darker I think than this one but they're still very light and it's not like they're very pigmented they just give you a little pigmentation versus just a really white translucent powder so I really love these and they're talc free which is nice um, they can be very chalky so you really 
You really just want to dab your brush in there and then put it on. You don't want to swirl your brush in there because then you're going to create chalkiness and you're going to waste product. So um, I just like the way that it makes my skin look and it doesn't break me out. So It kind of just gives me a nice creamy flawless look. I don't know. As long as you don't cake it on and put too much, then it'll look powdery. Another product that I use religiously is my Maybelline New York Define a Brow in Dark Blonde. And I love these pencils, these Define a Brow pencils by Maybelline because they're retractable and it's kind of like very small so that it makes it easier makes it easier it makes it easy to like make small strokes um to define your brows some more um it's not this big honking you know pencil it's pretty fine and it makes it really easy to make to like kind of outline your eyebrows and then fill them in and also i have a really hard time finding a brow powder that's not warm it doesn't look reddish so uh this is like the first one that i picked up that the one in Dark Blonde, this is the first product that I picked up that doesn't have that warm tone to it, that reddish tone to it, so that made me happy. I love this. I usually just buy those though when it's like, buy one, get one 50% off, buy one, get one free or something like that. Like, I usually just don't get one. Like, I have, to, I wait till they get, have a sale and then I'll buy a couple. Um, they can go pretty fast if you use it daily, so. And then another brow product that I use a lot is my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. And this one is in light. They have one in light and one in dark or medium or something. Um, it comes with three little tools like a brush, tweezers, and there was something else there. I don't remember what it was. I don't know, but it's not there anymore. So, hmm. anyway, these, as you can see, I use this a lot. I've hit pan on the middle one. So, um, not only are these nice to use for your eyebrows, but sometimes, like on days when I want to go do a natural look and I'm kind of in a hurry, I just grab this. I could fill in my brows and I can also use it for eyeshadow. So, like, a lot of times I will put this um, all over the lid, this in the crease, and then deepen up the outer corner with this color here. Uh, for my eyebrows, I just mainly use the middle shade. This one's a little bit too dark for me, so. Yeah, I like this because I can have multi-purposes to it. And then lastly, um, I'm going to, I'm going to, lastly, a thing that I go to all the time is my Revlon Matte Eyeshadow in Vid Vintage Lace. As you can see, I hit pan on this one, and this one I use all the time for a highlight. It's just a nice color for my skin tone as a highlight shade under my brow bone. So I use this pretty much daily, and it's matte, so that's nice. I prefer matte over shimmery highlights. Sometimes I do use shimmer, but most of the time I just use a matte shape. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for my most reached for products. My 11 most reached for products. Okay, maybe it's 12. Sorry. Just couldn't pick 11. I had to pick 12. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know. I was kind of wondering if I should do a tag what, where it's like my most reached for hair products, my most reached for eye products, my most reached for face products. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Because um, I have a lot of products that I use for specific things. Not just these here, but these are ones that I reach for most. So anyway, just let me know what you think, and uh, I'm going to tag whoever wants to do this video. If you want to do it, do it. I want to see your responses. Put a video response below if you want to, and maybe I'll just also tag some people specifically. I'll have to think of who to tag. So thanks so much, so thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.